there's this little movie out there called Mario Brothers that became the first billion dollar film of 2023. Uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be the last one to hit a billion dollars. I think there might be one or two others, but it not only did it do that, but it became the first animated film in a while to climb into the top 10 all time animated films. And as of now, Mario Brothers has climbed to the number five all-time animated film. Yeah. Damn. Number five. Now, <clears throat> I think the official number still has it literally $4 million behind Minions in fifth spot. But as of today, that $4 million gets passed. So that we are, we are calling it here that Mario Brothers has climbed into the number five spot of all time, which... Is additionally, there's Ray's, uh, there, let's switch. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> He's oh, ready yeah. to go. Which is additionally impressive when you consider how few animated films ever hit the billion dollar mark in the history of Hollywood, but also impressive when you consider the fact that, listen, the box office right now is still not what it was. I mean, it's recovered a lot, but it's still not what it was pre pandemic time. So for this movie to come out and do this is impressive. So what is still ahead of it? How much higher can it climb? Let's go over and take a look at this chart here. So again, Mario Brothers has just passed Minions at $1.159 million. Mario now with 1.16. So it's been able to climb up there and, and meet that number. Now, still ahead of it next is The Incredibles. All right. And that's still what? How many millions of dollars does that still have to go? Uh, 40, 80 million dollars? Am I, is that, am I getting that number right? I can't, the, uh... I can't tell. I'm trying to figure it out. I think $80 million more to catch Incredibles number four. I think it's got a shot. So it's at one, one, okay, 1.15? Yeah, it's at 1.16. It's got to catch oh, okay. 1.24. Mm -hmm. So it's about $80 million more to go. And, you know, with Guardians of the Galaxy 3 opening, it's it's eaten up a lot more of the box up. But I still I think it can still get another $80 million. Now, once you go from there up to Frozen in the number three spot, Ooh. now you're talking about needing another $120 million. That might be a little bit outside of reach for yeah. it right now. Uh, as Mario's now in what? It's sixth week of release now. Getting another $120 million might be too high, but I wouldn't count it out. It definitely won't catch Frozen 2. That's a big jump. Yeah, that's that's a huge jump. You're talking about needing like 300 million more dollars. Wow. That so Frozen Frozen 2 or yeah, Frozen 2 is definitely secure in the number 2 spot in Lion King. Uh of course that's the CGI version of Lion King from 2019, not the original animated one. Uh but that one sits at uh 1.663. So that's like another 500 million dollars. So it definitely has but Incredibles Within reach, the number four spot. I think probably at the end of the day, that's where Mario Brothers settles, is down into that number four spot. I think it'll just nudge out Incredibles and maybe just by a bit stay behind Frozen for in the number three spot. Anyway, Chris, you saw this. Mm -hmm. I mean, how impressive, considering today's context, with still in the post-pandemic stuff, not a ton of animated films have ever crocked a billion dollars. Yeah. How impressive is it? What stands out to you about Mario getting in that number five spot? And how high do you think it can climb on that chart? It's incredibly impressive. This is the Top Gun Maverick of animated films. It really yeah. is, It's yeah. got legs. It keeps just boogieing on by. I do think this can go a lot higher, though. I do think it can crack into the number four spot. And I think it actually has the potential for number three here, just because, again, people keep coming out to see this movie over and over and over. And there really isn't a lot of other fare, first of all, for kids right now. But also, you know, I keep seeing other 30-somethings run back to the theater to watch this movie multiple times. So I feel like there's a lot of potential for it to keep just bringing in that money. This this might be the shortest movie on that list we had up, too. Oh, I think you're right, Ray. Yeah, it, it is. It's definitely a short film. 100% so, it's a short film. That's helping it, too. If yeah. you just want a quick fix. Get, it got you more show times. <laughs> now, I don't know that that... I, I don't know if the shortness of it... I mean, it certainly helped in the first week or two because you get those extra screenings and that maybe a two and a half hour movie couldn't get. But I mean, now, well, I mean, there are seats available if you want to go. After Guardians of the Galaxy, I could have used a little Mario after that one. You know yeah. what? Th that's not a bad point. There may be people who are like, huh, okay, I need, I need a palate cleanser. <laughs> and they go in and just watch something like just dumb and delightful, like Mario <laughs> Brothers. I mean, why not? Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Super Mario Bros. has climbed to the number five all-time animated spot in the box office. How much higher do you think it could go? Do you think it's already kind of peaked? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, 
Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. rocketmoney.com slash campia.